Sundar Menon is an elephant owner, but he's torn between his love of the festival and the inherent cruelty inflicted upon the elephants. Actually, we don't want to shackle them because, you know, the, the space is not enough to leave them free or roaming around. We approach the Ministry of uh, Forest to provide us a big land and to, you know, provide a sanctuary for them. So unfortunately, from their side, we could not get any land. While the owners and brokers make good profits, the real winners are temples, like the world-famous Guruvayur Temple. It's a thriving business. When I visited, the first thing that caught my attention was this life-sized statue of an elephant that was worked to death some 40 years ago. It's a monument to Kerala's elephant fetish. The temple looks like a posh resort with a mini mall at the entrance. I spotted a sign advertising the temple's elephant sanctuary. I visited the elephant compound in December 2013. It's called Punnatur Kota. The sign out front says Guruvayur Captive Elephant Sanctuary. Inside, I found 59 elephants, mostly male, crammed into a small area, sort of an elephant factory farm. In August 2014, the Animal Welfare Board of India, the AWBI, launched an investigation. It's the central government's advisory body. The facts contained in their comprehensive report are staggering. It says the key source of the temple's revenue is renting out its elephants. They uh, rent out these elephants for huge sums of money, and they make a lot of money. So economics uh, plays a very important role in this. The Wildlife Protection Act has actually banned uh, uh, wild animals to be used uh, in commerce. With all the money that the elephants earn, you'd expect them to be well treated. It's 35 degrees Celsius today. No respite from the blistering sun. And these elephants have no easy access to drinking water. This thirsty elephant is struggling to reach the tiny water tank. And this animal is unable to place his foot on the ground. He is so traumatized that in sheer desperation, he tosses a clump of mud at me. Such poor hygienic conditions are the perfect breeding ground for bacteria and the pathogens that cause deadly food diseases. Their diet is the cheap, fibrous caryota palm leaves. Studies in southern India have shown that elephants may feed on more than 100 species of plants. And rainforests uh, where food is scarce, but you have a very large number of plant species, they may actually feed on as much as 400 species of plants over there in order to meet their requirements. But unfortunately, these noble creatures are denied their most basic needs.
Everything I documented in December 2013 was validated by the AWBI report that was released the following year. It's a very bad place. That's not the place where you should keep the elephant. There are elephants that are tethered for 24 hours. And then we say that he's such a cruel animal and he has killed his mahout. He will. He will kill. Because he's in pain, he's in fear, he's hungry. And he wants to escape. He will kill. Often, captive elephants take out their frustration and rage on each other. like these two in the Guruvayur temple. It was a battle between two wounded giants. A dangerous fight, not just for the elephants, but also for the shoppers in the temple's mini mall. So many people are killed every year during festival seasons by the elephants. Don't we have anything to say about them? The cruelty done to their families? Are we not torturing their families also? Sarabakshidam Umar